Have you ever pondered the possibility of our Earth being entirely submerged underwater? This thought-provoking question has been the premise of many a cultural narrative, from the biblical tale of Noah's Ark to the ancient Sumerian epic of Gilgamesh. These stories, deeply entrenched in our collective consciousness, depict a world where the boundary between land and sea becomes irrelevant, where civilization as we know it is washed away by relentless tides. But can our blue planet ever truly turn into a water world? Could the continents we call home be swallowed by the oceans? As we explore this question, we'll turn to science for answers, looking beyond the realm of mythology and into the realm of reality. We'll delve into the complexities of Earth's water and land volumes, the science of sea level rise, and the possibility, or lack thereof, of a complete global submersion. Let's dive in to see if science supports these water world theories. To comprehend the possibility of a global flood, one must first understand the science behind sea level rise. The sea level is not a fixed marker, it is a fluctuating dynamic entity. This fluctuation is primarily driven by three interlinked factors, global warming, melting polar ice caps, and thermal expansion. Now, global warming is essentially an increase in Earth's average temperature. This in turn causes the polar ice caps to melt. As this ice, previously stored on land, melts and flows into the oceans, it causes the sea levels to rise. But there's another element at play here, thermal expansion. You see, as water warms, it expands, so warmer oceans due to global warming mean more voluminous oceans, leading to a further rise in sea levels. These factors, operating in tandem, contribute to the sea level rise we're witnessing today. They create a ripple effect, each worsening the other, escalating the problem at hand. But does enough water exist to cover the entire Earth? To answer that, we need to consider the volume of all forms of water available on Earth compared to the volume of land. Let's take a deep dive into the numbers. The Earth's oceans, the largest reservoir of water, hold around 1 billion cubic kilometers of water. Then there's the ice caps and glaciers, storing about 24 million cubic kilometers of frozen water. The atmosphere also contributes, albeit infinitesimally, with a mere 12,000 cubic kilometers of water in vapor form. Now, let's consider the volume of land. Earth's total land volume rises to a staggering 130 billion cubic kilometers. That's a profound disparity, isn't it? Here's the clincher. Even if we were to melt all the ice caps, glaciers, and release the water vapor from the atmosphere, the total volume of water wouldn't come close to covering the Earth's total land volume. The numbers reveal that even with all the water available on Earth, complete submersion is scientifically implausible. So, where does this leave our flood myths? Now, we've all heard the stories of Noah's Ark and the Epic of Gilgamesh, tales of a world entirely submerged in water. These narratives, while intriguing, are not supported by our current scientific understanding. Let's consider Noah's Ark, a tale of a global flood that wiped out all life on Earth, save for those aboard a single vessel. Given the volume of water on our planet, the idea of it covering every landmass seems improbable. Similarly, the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest stories known to mankind, speaks of a deluge that swallowed the world. Yet our scientific knowledge suggests such a catastrophe, on a global scale, is highly unlikely. Perhaps these tales are better interpreted metaphorically or as accounts of local floods, events that would indeed have seemed world-ending to those affected. Science shows us that while sea levels can rise dramatically, the complete submersion of Earth remains a captivating myth. 